Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> feeling myself. <laughs> All right, guys. That was Simi and Patarankin with Jericho. Welcome back, guys. It's time for the entertainment news. Whew. Techno opens up about losing his voice. Nigerian singer, Nigerian singer Techno has opened up about losing his voice in a recent interview with Daddy Freeze. In the interview, Techno talked about taking a break, explaining that he cracked his voice while performing on a certain day and things went crazy after. Now, according to the singer, he had to fly to London and the US where he was diagnosed with that he had acid reflux, which caused irritation and affected his vocal cords. Now, he further stated that he kept on canceling shows, um, spending thousands thousands of dollars on his treatment, saying at some point that he had to go quiet for three weeks using an app to communicate with people. Now eventually he had to get surgery done after a series of gruesome tests and the surgeons had to install a metallic substance to prevent stomach acid from flowing back into his esophagus. Now the singer who now runs his record label, Cartel Music, is now back to full recovery and is set to release a new song titled Agege featuring Zlatan Ibile. Ooh, mm. I saw this and I saw pictures and I was like, mm. wow. Like, it's so funny how we Nigerians can be, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm in this, I'm on this table literally, yeah. how we can be very insensitive. Because, you know how we were talking sometime ago and we were like, ah, where is techno? Where is techno? Ah, why is this guy not doing this guy? The guy I don't mm. tire. I because mm -hmm. most, of, most of the time when we don't see the artists dropping singles and, you know, releasing videos, we just assume that, oh, this person is on to the yeah, next. God. But we don't genuinely look out for these people that we say, oh, yeah. we love them and we love their songs. So it's, I mean, this was to be, really to be fair to us, I mean, shocking. he just told us about it, so we didn't even know about it beforehand. But what I'll say is that for me, it opens up uh, the bigger picture, which is medical insurance. There are a lot of us, we don't really take our health very seriously. We just feel like, oh, you know, as a presenter, you need your voice, you need your looks. You don't feel like anything can happen to you at any time. You don't have any backup plan. And this is something that we should always think about because this is his, this is his career right yeah. here. You might say it's acid reflux and it's a medical condition and it's very serious. And I just feel like it opens our eyes to the fact that we need to take our health seriously. Mm -hmm. We need to be taking medical checkups. And I'm very, very happy that, that he's is better. Yeah. 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 That's it, 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 it didn't say anything, but his manager did, Ubi Franklin's then manager did, Ubi Franklin um, sending putting up messages that pray for techno, techno lost his voice. Mm. We were thinking, who are these people voice. owing that they don't yeah. want to perform <laughs> and they're saying no, techno lost his voice? OJ that's was that's thinking. No, but majority, let's say most yeah, people like, are thinking that way. My guy, a full <laughs> December show that's we didn't true. see techno, that's like true. Who, did, who were you supposed to perform that you didn't perform, that you were lying, that you lost your voice, but eventually he has come out to say it was actually serious, he lost his mm -hmm. voice, he had mm -hmm. to undergo treatment. And the crazy thing about that particular interview, which is like almost 50 something minutes long, um, he talked about different issues from Lola Ray, and also talking about this same voice situation. He said he was thinking that it was Inyanya and Ubi Franklin that did jazz. Yeah, yeah that, some people that, told that him it was that. About, it was about leaving the record label and he thought maybe Ubi didn't want him to, that when you leave, this is your voice that you want to leave me and my record label, you will not be now. able to use the voice. He just said it and uh, left that see. conversation, but I don't know. The Nigerian factor had to come in, like, mm. he said he got to a point, yeah. they told him to do rituals, to kill goats, goats and, and he was so spending a lot of money, he wasn't making money. Mm. Um, it's good that it's I mean, I, I, back I'm one and... that believes in spirituality, but I also think that um, health is a serious thing. I should also yeah. check. You I know, people have lost their voice now. Adele, Adele lost her voice too. Mm. People lose their voices, but just the Nigerian to... factor just had to play. Okay. <laughs> eating LD is key as well. Because yeah. for Definitely. you to have acid reflux, it's like you're constantly eating something that's bringing back, I don't know, that's my own understanding. Because like, I, I used to I have don't... it at some point, I was told to cut down on the on, oil okay, caffeine intake and all, and, all and all caffeine and all that stuff. So... You know, eat healthy, try to live a healthy life as well. It's key. Yeah. But we're glad you're back, Techno. Mm -hmm. Techno and Nader. We are expecting something with Techno and Zlatan. Even, even Arike is back too. He said he's even <laughs> suspecting that maybe a girl wanted to kill him. OJ, moving on, my friend. OK, still on the Techno <laughs> and new music. Yes, he risked two to three years imprisonment for publicly dancing with strippers. Yes, singer Techno and four others may be prosecuted and sentenced to two years imprisonment for shooting a music video publicly with strippers dancing seductively in a truck. According to Punch newspaper, Techno, who was seen around the Lekki Ikoi Link Bridge in Lagos, was dancing with semi-clad women, spraying them, spraying them money and spanking them in indecent areas. And he might be going to jail as the act is said to contravene Section 136 of the Criminal Law of Lagos State 2015. The section's 
states that any person who commits any act of gross indecency with another person in public commits an offense and liable to a conviction to three years imprisonment. Section 134A further states that an indecent act in public in a public place makes both parties engaged in the act liable to imprisonment for two years. Meanwhile, Techno has apologized to Lagosian and the general public after the video of the semi-nude women dancing in a transparent truck went viral. In the latest statement, which he posted on his Instagram page, he said he had no reason to be dancing with the half-naked girls as there was no music or ventilation in the truck. Techno further stated that they were shooting a music video and the footage which went viral was filmed by midnight, noting that he respects the decency in Lagos, stating that the transparent truck in this incident was no form of advert for a strip club. So Techno coming back from losing his voice, mm. now recording, the, um, dropping music. Now the part particular video that caused all this situation is Agege Fritrin's Latin yeah, Billet. Just yeah. Uh, mm. It's just crazy. <laughs> Like this video went viral and everybody started, the moral compass of every Nigerian came mm. out. <laughs> don't do this, don't do this. But this video will come out and we'll still end up dancing to it. Um. Exactly my point. And I, I don't mm -hmm. know, let me not go, let me not. No, no. Because I actually just, the first thing I said was, um, half the people at the toll gates that were talking, they were looking, they were enjoying, they were enjoying it. it. So why are you being a so hypocrite? This is a situation of where, I mean, you might say moral compass is just where, we don't even know what is moral anymore because no. I saw that video and to me it's to me it's a, a normal thing. I mean, we see half indecent women on you know TV Instagram or TV. It just become it has, it has become normalized. But if you think about it very clearly, very deeply, yeah. it's actually not legal. Yeah, I mean, in public, yeah. it, it just shows that we don't have um, enough information about stuff because prior to um, hearing this in this uh, in the in the law that is a what is it, it what is it's, it an amendment it's a yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah prior to hearing this i never knew that something like this was actually a, a criminal crime. offense it's so everywhere think, now, in public mm. that's why you see the strip clubs them they don't even put out their sign in daytime mm -hmm. they put it out in the night I think so what, there's a time frame. I think what happens <laughs> is that, you know, we don't really take the law very seriously. True. Mm -hmm. So even with stuff like uh, presenters are not meant to swear, you still see some people who break these laws and nothing really happens. So there's a very thin line between, between what is right and, and what is allowed in Nigeria. You don't really know. So here's the thing. Now, it's unfortunate that techno is now like the scapegoat, Involved, yeah. you know? But you can't also say that it's right for them to be indecent people in the streets of Lagos. Yes, you might, actually, I even saw some men that were actually enjoying it. They so were people, enjoying people it, People were though. enjoying these videos. They but were then recording, you have they were to the guys with the video director, mm. T.J. Omori, your guy. It was <laughs> very, it was not directing the video. Oh my goodness. So there were, there were guys around and it was claiming that that was 12 midnight. I don't think that road is always that busy that time of the day. But he has apologized because he has noticed that what the they did himself, been, yeah. himself and the director. That it's, yeah, the it's, not, it's, not, it's not cool for public we, display. We accept your apology. Yeah. However, let's just hope that Lagos State I, I really accepts it, the apology yeah, as well. Because, honestly. I mean, we can say, oh, yeah, Techno, we forgive you, we love you. And the fact that you're just coming back, you know, to the music scene, this is not supposed to happen to you and all of that stuff. But... I mean, they, we're not the lawmakers, you know, so yeah. we just fingers crossed. We'll this song will come out, we'll jump to it. For <laughs> us, I just think we all have to be careful. True you that. just have to cross check what you're doing what you're to doing, be sure yeah. that you're actually doing the right thing. All right, mm. moving on to some more news. Now, this one states that without Don Jazzy and Debanj, Afrobeats won't be recognized. Now, this is what T Bills, the estranged husband to Tiwa Savage and artist manager, has made. Uh, he recently made this revelation about the recent attention gaining genre, which is Afrobeat. Now, according to T-Bills, he said, and I quote, it's funny how everyone is shouting Afrobeat to the world now, and conversations are being held around the world without acknowledgement. Now, without the Kings, Debanj and Don Jazzy, there will be no Afrobeats. Blessings to you guys. Now, he further stated that if not for Don Jazzy and Debanj's monster hit, Oliver Twist, that drew the international attention to Afrobeat, there wouldn't have been any noise about Afrobeat to the world. Now, all of this was triggered by a video of the band's electrifying performance at the Afro Nation concert in Portugal surfacing online. I don't know if you guys have so, seen I've this let's, video. Let's start from, did you guys see that performance itself? The band till tomorrow is it's an one of the most energetic performa um, performers that I've seen, the band mm -hmm. Two Face. Like, they will leave the song and actually perform. I saw the video, and this is what sparked what um, Tilbis was talking about. Can we? clear out the fact that 
He has a conversation on Twitter everywhere switched on Tilby's because people were now saying, ah, where will you put the likes of Fela and Nikola Pokuti? Mm -hmm. Now, Tilby's was actually referring to Afro beats, not Afro beats by Fela and Nikola Pokuti. Yes, we know the genre of Afro beats right now originated in London, mixing Afro fusion with mm -hmm. our Nigerian mm -hmm. sounds, trying to sell the African sound to the world. No one has an yes. S and Yes. Like it's yeah, Afro yeah. beats Tibbs was talking about because people were lashing out mm. at him that uh, where is Fela inside all, those, all of this mm. conversation? How will you say Different, it's the yeah. banjo and Don Jazzy that puts Afro beats out there? Mm -hmm. It's not talking about the Fela one. Edjo, Emma <laughs> <laughs> However, um, I, I actually agree with him. I think that yes, Don Jazzy and the Banj put us in that spot because I, I remember too. when when um, um, and I think it's one of the reasons they broke up or something because it was after this that there was now the Mavens and yeah. you know, the DB um, Records, DB Records and all of that stuff. But I, I remember that when they released that video, it, there Swiss. was kind of, like it, I had to something Kanye had to do something with this mm -hmm. and. It was like, oh, we went to sell our music, and now someone is trying to slime me, and that was and the alleged yeah. cause of their fight. Yeah. So <laughs> that's what we heard. But if that Oliver Twist move did not happen, mm. and Kanye, you know, hearing that your Don Jazzy and Kanye are now talking, I'm like, I, I, I can do this as well. Like, mm -hmm. that, I feel mm -hmm. like that was, that was probably what Ginger, mm -hmm. the likes of Whiskey and David. And I remember really that year, from like 20, 2007 to 2010, 2012, 2013. Music in Nigeria. There was something Madness. about that scene. Everybody was dropping music. I think I've talked about it before. Yes. Everybody was dropping music. Nobody was trying to overshadow the next person. They were all doing music. They were all unique. You, you, you see, see Chuck Nation, yeah. yeah. and, 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 and the world. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that movement that year was what actually birthed this whole thing that we're celebrating I think what today. Happened and I quite with, agree with Tindu. Uh, for me, I would say what happened with that movement was they were the trendsetters. They yeah. were the pace setters. They were the ones who started these things. You don't agree with that. I have a question. Yes. Where will you put Keke and D1 of Kenny's music? They, they helped yeah, Nigerian yeah. artists to in know terms that. Of record label. They helped or the Nigerian management. I would say that they helped the Nigerian music industry in a way that they, they, they didn't make you feel like, oh, you can just sing and that's they it. There's actually there. business in this thing. Mm -hmm. So you would see how they were moving and you'd be like, ah, these guys, this is no music that they are doing. Well, Kekia and so are going. very they, relevant to the business of music. music so yeah, exactly. you can't music take business. You can't take it away from them. Well, moving, like talking about this the video that actually surfaced online, the one that T-Bills was talking about. Remember in the last story, I said there's a thin line between what is actually moral or not. Because <laughs> I was really enjoying this video. But then I'm like, but here's the thing, her bomb is showing though. And she didn't care. Do we not have a problem with so, that? So is she, was she a random person? Was she who's, a dancer? Who's, who's fault is it? The band or the girl? I don't I don't know. The girl, Abby? Because we were lashing out at techno because of that billboard, but people no, were people forgot speaking. the girls that were actually dancing. It's like we have double standards. Okay. Because yeah. I watched it, I found it quite entertaining, but I found it also somehow for the lady. Mm. Because, yes, it's good for the band. The band, if you see the, the focus energy was the band having energy, but she just looks like a random chick that is, you know... Ready to just, go naked yeah, on stage. Yeah, I don't know how that, you know, looks for her. So I don't know how it feels like when we are praising the band for this kind of video and young people are watching and feeling like it's all right. It's all right for us to step out on stage and just misbehave. So I don't know how to feel about that. We go there, all right. For yeah, last, last. last. <laughs> <laughs> all right, finally on the news, Bam Bam and Teddy A are engaged. Yes. All right, guys, Big Brother Niger, ex housemates Bamike Olaomi, otherwise known as Bam Bam and Tokwe Adebunyo, popularly known as Teddy A, are engaged. Now, the reality star and actress shared the good news on her Instagram page with a picture of the engagement ring on her finger like this and a love emoji and also tagged Teddy A to the post. Teddy A also shared the same photo with the caption, Heart emoji, love for life. And Bam Bam and Teddy started off their relationship way back while competing during the 2018 edition of the Big Brother Ninja reality show. Their in-house romance blossomed even after they got evicted from the reality show. And now, we have a wedding loading! Okay. <laughs> from all of us right here on Entertainment Splash, we say congratulations and may God bless your union. Yes, yes. oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so, so happy like, for them. Oh, wow. Nigerians love yeah. romance. True. So I saw this picture when it was eight minutes. I saw almost 600 and something comments. I checked at 23 minutes. I saw 20,000 comments. Wow, what's so going on? Okay. Were the set of people that were, <laughs> were the set of people that were abusing them when they did whatever mm -hmm. in, the in the house? Were they part of people that were That's wishing what them well? That's about hypocrites. Okay. Most of them were in the comment section saying, I'm proud of you. Some people that even sent mm. pictures and videos to my DM then to say, ah, see you. See Look at you. what they are doing in the house. Mm -hmm. They are mm -hmm. using their self. Bam, bam, of this. Bam, bam, ha, hmm. 
They were in the comments from baby girl, congrats. Oh, <laughs> she has gone. To be honest, I think that Bam Bam and Teddy have had a very mature relationship. Yeah, they have absolutely. kept it as private as possible. And I also think that they have worked on it. It yes. might not have been as easy and rosy. As you know, we don't know what happened inside, but they have obviously worked on their relationship to get absolutely. to this point. And one thing you can say about them is that they are very supportive. Yeah. I mean, Teddy is dropping a song. Bam Bam, Bam Bam is there. Is Bam Bam is launching something with her business. Teddy A is there. So I'm really happy and, for and, that. And, 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 um, in an interview I watched, they told her to describe her relationship with Teddy A in three words. Mm -hmm. She's like, loving, hectic, and fun. Mm -hmm. Like, a combination of everything. So, guys, congratulations. We wish you yeah. the best. We wish so which, other, which, which other people well, had, which other people had relationship? We're finding something. No, no, you're not finding oh, something. Find which which other people had relationship in that house that there's nothing happening now? You answered the question yourself, OJ. You tell us. I'm asking for a friend. That's wow. What you the show, hmm. so tell I us. don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we have today on Entertainment News. Now, moving up, we have a celebrity birthday shout out. And Yay. today, we are celebrating Chinedu Annie Emmanuel, probably known as Nedu. Yes, this guy is an absolutely hilarious <laughs> character. Yes, I mean, what do like you Nedu, say? is it uh, Madame Mikechi, <laughs> Musa, or Landlord, you, whatever you know, called. people like him make being funny so, you know, look Fake easy. Characters in one person. Like, what he's doing is hard work. He's an OAP at a... Mm. Uh, uh, um, yeah, yeah, radio station. Yeah, he's an OAP and he's, he's speaking pidgin. He speaks very good English. He speaks so many languages. He's very good. All right. Also celebrating today, we have the good-looking actor, director, and producer... Jesse Williams. Yay. Now you might also remember him from the series Grace Anatomy. Anatomy. Yes. After that speech he gave at the BET Awards that got everybody shocked and everybody was saying, hmm, deep, deep, deep. Yeah. <laughs> so you were supposed to be what now, right now? Deep, Abby? No, like he gave, like he, Jesse Williams, I didn't know about Jesse Williams besides watching Grace Anatomy mm -hmm. on, until he gave that speech on that award night. And, everybody, and everybody was like, wow. Deep. You know, you know, black, you know, you know, black. He was hating. He, he, he was pinning him. He said, "What's all this?" Okay, you're deep. Okay, guy, you're deep. No, but even OJ says he's fake deep, so we can't help him. <laughs> so you see. <laughs> all right, finally, we have actor Max Strong. He's celebrating today as well. Happy birthday. Yes, now you might remember him as Lord Henry Blackwood in Sherlock Holmes or as Merlin in the Kingsman movie series, amongst And, and of course, he was in Shazam recently, mm. too. Shazam. Mm. Crazy guy. <laughs> happy oh, birthday, happy Max birthday. Strong. And happy birthday to you out there who is celebrating today. We're sending you love, life, peace, prosperity. More money, wine, cake, You're sending more money. King OJ and yeah. Arika Dimples just slide into their DMs, they'll sort you out. Yeah, thank you. No, Happy in this part of the world, you're supposed to call us and tell us where we are celebrating <laughs> so that we'll come and turn up with Arike you. Arika has a gift for you. <laughs> <laughs> you. 